Hello, and welcome back to today's inspirational message. A channel is dedicated to useful, positive, and awesome messages. So right now, we will continue on a series of time management. Right now, it is part three. And so we've talked about the how of scheduling. We talked about the why. Now we're talking about what exactly are the priorities? How can you differentiate what really takes precedent, what's really important, and which ones don't? Today's quote comes from a man named John C. Maxwell. And if you've never heard of this guy, he's an author, he's a pastor. He wrote lots of awesome books about uh, traits of leadership and really what counts, what matters. And this quote today goes something like this. He said, to stay focused in life, you can't know everyone, you can't do everything, you can't go everywhere. We have to pick and choose between good and a little better. And so I'm guessing you're wanting to do good things. So when I start thinking of good things, like who are people that do good things? Sometimes I think of superheroes in the latest action flick about Thor, right? Well, this isn't a magical hammer, but Thor, superheroes. Uh, there's also people like Superman. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman! And Wonder Woman. And my childhood favorite, Dragon Ball Z. Usually when we think of superheroes, what do superheroes normally do? They fight crime. But if you imagine, let's say they did something else that was good. Let's say they wanted to pick up trash. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up. Now don't get me wrong. I have nothing against picking up trash. In fact, I think people should pick up trash. But let's say the superheroes used their time, instead of fighting crime, they decided to pick up all the pieces of trash in the world. I think our city will look something like this. The corner, what they left is, I'd say, well over 100 people very upset. And that's what happened on that corner, you know. All off duty. So you can see, if superheroes aren't doing what superheroes do, man, this world will be in a mess, right? Policemen, a fireman, other people that save, you know, people that are in trouble decide to do something good instead of doing what's great or best, then we're kind of in trouble. With your time, there's also good and better. And really maximizing it, how can you choose between the good and the great? And I've heard that the enemy of great is good, and suddenly good isn't good enough. So for those of you that don't know what the 80-20 principle is. So in a nutshell, the 80-20 principle talks about how 20% of the input delivers 80% of the output. How 20% of causes contributes to 80% of the consequences. And how 20% of your effort makes up and contributes to 80% of the results. So the 80-20 is a very important principle because the 80-20 helps you realize that the effort isn't so much 50-50 where it's like, oh man, 50% of my effort will give you 50% of the results. That's just not the case, which is why the 80-20 is so crucial to focusing that 20%. So I have a suggestion on how to prioritize your time and what determines what takes priority in that 20%. And so I would put everything that I do into three categories. So the first category, you must ask yourself, is this something that I can do that a lot of people could do? It's kind of like the picking up trash thing which is a good thing. There's a lot of good causes out there. There's a lot of good things that you could do, but you're definitely not the only one that can do it. Other people can do it as well. 
which means that chances are you can delegate or someone else can take care of it and you don't have to be the one consuming your time with that particular thing. The second category is, is this something that I can do and only people with a certain skill set or talent can do? A great example is musicians or something like technical support. If you don't know too much about music, you haven't been trained in music, or you've never touched a computer before, then that's probably not a job that you can do. But if you have that certain skill set, which is the education that you have, something you were brought up, something you're passionate about, then that's something that takes higher priority than something that you can do and other pe can, people can do as well. And lastly, in the third category, is this something that I can do and only I can do? And those things consist of spending time with your family and friends. No one else can do that but you, people in your circle. Things like training or going to school, or doing a certain job. No one can replace you in that. that. That is your calling. That's what you're called to do. Your relationship with God. That is only something that you can do. And you can't say, hey, can you do that for me? Relationships is something that only you and you alone can do. And those are something and things like it that take the number one priority in that 20%. So I just quickly gave a suggestion as far as how to prioritize and figure out what goes into the good, what goes into the better, and what really goes into the very, very best. And of course, the 80-20 principle talks about that 20% that makes 80% of the difference. What must be a priority is things that you and you alone can only do. And then goes into something that only you or people that have this certain kind of talent or skill set can do. And then lastly, whatever time you have left over, if you can get around to the other good stuff, that's good as well. But something in that kind of order. And of course, that's up to you and that's kind of my suggestion as far as how do you figure out what really takes priority. And as always, I always want to hear from you. So when you ever get a chance, I would like to hear what is those priorities? What did you figure out should go into that 20% of your effort? And I would love to hear from you. Comment in the boxes below. And I also want to give you a heads up that there's going to be some exciting giveaways, some interactive type of videos coming up very, very soon. And so once again, have a great week. And remember, when you're tired, get inspired.